Bonjour. Uh, thank you very much, uh, David. I was quite impressed about uh, uh, your French. You know? I almost thought you were a native speaker. Uh, I see uh, uh, judges, uh, some judges here, uh, members of the executive of the International Association of Constitutional Law, presenters, participants, many of whom actually come from very far from here. It is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the University of Johannesburg. Just to give you some background, the University of Johannesburg is the largest university in Johannesburg with 50,000 students that are studying with four campuses. This is just one of the four campuses of the University of Johannesburg. We have another, university, uh, another campus just uh, down the road uh, next to the South African Broadcasting Tower. And then we also have another campus downtown, uh, next to the, bigger, the tallest landmark in town. This uh, is actually our, our other campus. And then we have a, a campus in Soweto. And some of you have gone to uh, Soweto yesterday. We do have a campus there. So it is uh, the largest uh, uh, university in Johannesburg. And uh, being the largest obviously means uh, much is demanded from us. I think there is an expression that says that uh, to those who are given more powers, uh, more accountability is, uh, is expected of them. And I think as University of Johannesburg, we take that very, very, very seriously. And as a result, we hope and we, we, we do all we can to ensure that um, our graduates are irreproachable in conduct and that um, they will cultivate the mind which is free from prejudice and that is aimed at transforming society for the greater good. I think the concept of, um, of, 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 of the good to the most, uh, to the greatest number of people, I think that is utilitarian theory, is very important to us and we hope our graduates go and play a very positive role to make sure that our world is much better than they have found it. As a University of Johannesburg, we take the idea of interacting with our stakeholders very, very seriously. And our stakeholders are very uh, One of our stakeholders is society. The University of Johannesburg aims to play a very positive role in the South African society in particular and to the world uh, in, in general. We do this because we understand that um, the principle of justice, the principle of governance, uh, the principle of fairness are actually the cornerstone of building uh, a society that, that, that gives prosperity to the greatest number of, 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 of people. And therefore, uh, we take that our role in, in society very, very uh, uh, seriously. We also uh, uh, take our relationship with not just the South African government, but with government, uh, governments very, very seriously. Assisting them to craft laws that are fair, that are just, and so on and so forth. And our academics actually play a great deal of role in helping uh, our government in that regard. And we also uh, take um, our relationships with, uh, with industry, companies, very, very seriously. Because a company is a corporate citizen. And citizenship uh, comes with a great deal of responsibilities. And, uh, this, uh, uh, and, and, and our graduates, we expect them to play quite a great deal of role in that. The University of Johannesburg takes the issue of research very, very seriously. As a university, we publish the equivalent of 1,100 single authored uh, publications per year, which is quite uh, substantial. And of that, the equivalent of 60 single authored publications actually come from the Faculty of Law. So it is not just the teaching, but also the writing, the reflection, so that um, others who have not had the privilege of coming to our campuses can actually benefit from the work that is being done at the university. And we hope that uh, our research is relevant. We hope that the research that we produce has impact and that it transforms lives. 
In conclusion, I wish all of you uh, a successful conference. Uh, and to take time to see much of Johannesburg. Johannesburg is actually quite an exciting city. Uh, one excitement is that it is actually apparently the, 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 the largest man-made forest. So if you look the other, the other side, you will realize that it almost looks like a forest. So we have more trees in Johannesburg than any other city per square, per, 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 per square uh, meter uh, in the world. Please do take time to to, to, you know, to see the city, it is rich in history, uh, a great deal of gold that has been mined, I think almost to the level of 30% of all gold that has been mined was mined in Johannesburg. So it is actually quite uh, an interesting city. And with those few words, thank you very much, and I wish you all the best. The University of Johannesburg. Rethink. Reinvent.